Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for Scorpio. <laughs> Scorpio, welcome. If you are new, welcome back if you are returning. So this is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Scorpio. You can have Scorpio anywhere in your chart. Okay. Judgment. Somebody here is deciding Seven of Swords, making a decision. Boom, there you have it about the Two of Cups. I knew it. This it's a it's a very um it's an intuitive specific message, but somebody here is hiding the fact that they are planning for a relationship. <sighs> the Emperor. <laughs> Y'all saw me shuffle the cards. The moon. Everything here is hidden. Somebody is keeping their feelings under under wraps for sure. Two of Pentacles. There's juggling here. Somebody's trying to make the Empress. Are they juggling the Empress or are they just juggling life? Ten of Wands. Seven of Cups. Confusion. Justice. And then the Temperance. All right. Eight of Cups. Somebody is walking away from a situation to, I'm hearing to dig deeper. But somebody also could be traveling. There's some kind of movement or travel where somebody is looking into a way to communicate or to go towards somebody with a very serious offer, but they have to move away from something that's toxic here. There has to be some kind of truthful, honest communication about the reason why somebody was left out in the cold or somebody is communicating with their family, advising them that they're going to have to leave something or someone out in the cold in order to pursue like true love. So there's somebody here who is realizing that they they want to go the distance in a relationship but it requires them to cut some things or people off. And it looks like this, like they're doing that. The temperance card here, justice with the emperor and the empress is out here. This is two becoming one. Wow. Somebody is actually like moving away from something or someone. There could be travel. There could be physical distance between someone or this could, be, this could even be someone proposing the idea of traveling or relocating. There's this clear message of somebody wanting to get away from a person or a group. It's just like, hey, we need to have a new start type of energy. Or somebody could have just recently moved to a place and they met someone And somebody may be telling you like they've moved away from something. This could be the type of person who like recently divorced, relocated. There's some kind of major lifestyle change that has happened. And I just keep hearing, can I rock with you? Can I take it to the top with you? So somebody's like, forget it. Like I'll, they're, they're willing to leave it all behind for some kind of new connection. Eight of Cups and the Page of Swords here. Somebody could know that they're being watched or monitored, but you have the Eight of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. Somebody doesn't care, they're moving forward. Here's a Chariot, but here's the Devil and the Eight of Swords. So somebody has been in some kind of mental conflict of thinking that they were stuck. This could be self-sabotage or someone has been doing something to try to keep a person um, feeling like they are stuck, stagnant, isolated, whatever. But there is some kind of truth or clarity here about why a person has been unable to have the Ten of Cups. Someone has been on the outside with the Five of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups here as well. This could be somebody who is actually in the family though, but who who is doing this, but I'm getting like they may be off the grid. This may be someone in the family who 
doesn't really talk to the family. Well, this could be you or this person that you're connecting with. That's this is like black sheep energy. Somebody is away from a group, specifically family. This could even be someone's family is telling them if they choose to be with a certain per person that they will refuse to help them with any kind of tools. Just they, They're refusing to support someone. So it looks like somebody is giving up a lot. There's there's definitely something here to lose, though. This could be family court, child support, alimony, something. Somebody knows that if they go after their true wish fulfillment, there's going to be a loss here. Or somebody has already taken a loss because they're choosing to be happy. I told you, the sun. Somebody is choosing their happiness, their peace. And they're willing to have a brand new start. They're willing to take a loss. Whatever they have. To, yeah, the star. Whatever it takes for them to, to heal. And they, this Queen of Cups is not going anywhere. So somebody may feel like they're... I'm hearing final destination is this Queen of Cups. Somebody who can heal them. Yeah, the Five of Cups is here. There's been some kind of disappointment. Ooh, Three of Swords. So there's been disappointment regret. Breakup, separation, third party, juggling, divorce, friction, tension, something here. But then new love is here. So while somebody is going through something very painful or trying to get over it, new love appears. And it happens to be the person that they've, they've prayed for. Whether it's someone coming back or it is a new person. The hangman is in the reverse. King of Swords. Yeah, somebody is no longer thinking. They're not contemplating. They know exactly what they want to do. Seven of Wands. They want to stand up for what they know is right, for their beliefs, and manifest. Six of Pentacles. This person wants to be very generous. The Tower. So after being out in the cold, going through some kind of challenges or hardship here, divine intervention comes to play. The Three of Pentacles. This is somebody's family that has been plotting on them. Three of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. But this is also somebody choosing to go into a partnership where they're going to be collaborating with the person who makes them happy. But they're going to actually build something together. So somebody is, is choosing. They're leaving the nest. Like, 100%. This is creating your own, leaving behind what you know. Somebody is doing everything to be able to celebrate with this Queen of Cups. I'm telling you. And it, it could be any sign, but there is a particular feminine. Somebody is rearranging their entire life for this person. Nine of Swords. It's stressful, though, because they, they're dealing with heartache and pain and anxiety from separating themselves from everything that they know. The four of pentacles, yeah. This person is freeing themselves from whatever has held, they've been holding on to, whatever has been holding on to them. They're freeing themselves from this and they're doing the work. Like they're really becoming heavily invested and putting in the work and making decisions for themselves. But they're they're making decisions from a from a place of love and logic. The King of Swords is someone very logical, very, very practical, fair, just the King of Swords, Seven of Wands. This person also is putting it into a lot of manipulation. If this person has been accepting, um, advice tools resources or whatever from people who don't actually support their forward movement or their path they're putting an end to that they're like no more so this could be the type of person who is like oh well you know i won't make you pay certain things or i won't put you on child support or, i won't do this like somebody here has been manipulated you know i won't i won't um 
put you on child support. I won't, you know, take you to court for this or that, or, you know, I won't take away that job that you got with the family. Somebody is trying to hold a person hostage with some kind of opportunity, but the tower is here. It's almost like whatever somebody thought that they were holding over a person's head, they're going to lose that. This has something to do with someone's stability, though. This definitely feels, for some, I'm definitely picking up like a divorce. Somebody is planning to um, be nasty and cruel with the person in a divorce, and it's not going to work. The Two of Swords. I feel like this masculine here with the Two of Swords here, this person is watching their front and their back. Somebody may think that this person is stuck and stagnant, but this person has a plan. The Six of Wands, and they're going to be very successful in whatever they are planning. The Death card here with the Six of Cups. And the Knight of Wands. There's a connection between a person, family, and work. Somebody could be could have a relationship with somebody that they are working with. Or there was the previous dynamic that they were in or you whoever it's for but the five of pentacles the tower and the death card when it comes to somebody being left out in the cold or experiencing the setbacks this hardship or whatever that's about to be over and done with These, all these sixes are here. Something is being balanced out. There are significant changes. You, I literally have um, the Magician, the Six of Pentacles, Six of Cups, and the Six of Wands. Over the course of the next six months, six to 12 months, I want to say six to 18 months, there's very, very significant changes happening. Something could be happening actually in threes as well. So a lot of death, a lot of rebirth. So it, uh, it's like something is coming even in stages or increments. So something, somebody could get a payout every six months or you're just going to notice very significant changes or milestones like six months from now. Or maybe you were planning for something six months ago. You're going to see that come into fruition. Then in another six months, it's going to be something else. It's something about the sixes and things being balanced out. And with this new moon in Scorpio, this is like the clearing away of a lot of old energy that's going to allow people to have like a reset for the next probably like six to 18 months. Yeah, there are celebrations coming. Happiness because somebody is making a decision. Someone is deciding on this Queen of Cups. Doesn't matter who it is. Somebody has made a decision to pursue this person. Yeah, they know they're coming. They're coming in hot. <laughs> yep, because they went within and they did the healing work that was necessary. But it feels like this Queen of Swords here. Somebody has been in this person's ear. Telling them that they don't need to move forward or they don't need to do something or, you know, maybe you're you're after that person because of greed or lust or whatever the case is. This person doesn't care what anybody has to say. They're going they're putting in the work now to pursue a person and they don't care what kind of obstacles or challenges come about. Yeah, somebody is telling a person that this could even be like if a person recently got out of a relationship or a divorce, like. Someone could be telling them, don't you think it's too soon for you to move on or are you, it, it's it, somebody here is really trying to make a person think that they should second guess their, 
or question themselves about something, but the lovers is here. So somebody has a person in their ear telling them about a romantic relationship and yeah, queen of swords. This person is trying to create some kind of stronghold. But right behind it is the four of wands. The King of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands, and the world. And then the lovers, wow. And the Ten of Pentacles and the sun. Oh my goodness. The Queen of Swords here. Whoever this bitter person is, this situation is being put to rest. Because somebody is ready now to go after their true wish fulfillment. And somebody knows that their wish fulfillment is this very independent, self-sufficient, abundant feminine that they have their eye on. Somebody is constantly trying to tell this person, though, like, no, you know, I don't think it's the right time. You shouldn't pursue that person. Um, maybe you need to wait until a later date or under different circumstances or conditions. Wait until everything is perfect. And somebody is like, no. Because I feel like this is a very, very strong partnership that's developing here. It's somebody's true wish fulfillment. I feel like somebody is pursuing a person that um, somebody could be choosing to pursue a person that they met or that they were involved with during the time that they were in another relationship, okay? I'm not saying that it was a third party situation or somebody was a mistress. I'm not saying that, but the person that someone is choosing to pursue now They knew this person before they got out of a relationship or went through a divorce. And that may be where there's hesitation here or why somebody is saying, hey, you need to be careful in how, how you go about this situation. And to be honest, this queen of swords here may not necessarily be telling somebody that they shouldn't pursue this person. But I feel like a person is trying to be careful in how they pursue someone because of how they met or when they met because I feel like somebody possibly met someone that they're highly interested in while they were still in another situation and even though that other situation may be over somebody is trying to I guess like safeguard and protect whatever the new connection is Perhaps from gossip or whatever the case is. Yeah. This person wants to make an offer, though. The King of Pentacles definitely sometimes speaks of a person who could be married or committed. Very, very stable. And here's the King of Cups. So, yeah. There's two masculines here. And the Queen of Wands. Page of Cups. Ten of Swords. The World. Will of Fortune. Something is over. This could even be a feminine here. There could be a feminine energy out here who's leaving one person and going towards somebody else. The, the, the thing about it, though, is whoever these two people are who are coming together, they've decided on one another. This almost feels like two people who both are coming out of a situation. They somehow are going towards each other and they both have people who are telling them what to do or what not to do. And I kind of spoke about something like this in a reading that was posted earlier. I feel like right now, a lot of people, your biggest spiritual inheritance or blessing right now is your own free will in, in your understanding of your own personal free will. The fact that 
Nobody can actually tell you where to go, what to do, or how to do it. You can be in a room full of people and they all can tell you that you're doing the wrong thing. But if you, if you know that it's right, you should go for it. Because even if it's a mistake, there there is really no such real mistake. But even if there, you face challenges because of whatever the decision is, you have to understand that like God is going to be there to protect you and to continue guiding your steps. Because it feels strongly like there's there is a third party situation, but. It almost feels like there's four different energies here. There could be two people who are coming together who both left something. It was it was a, a faded chance meeting. And somebody may be telling the person, hey, you need to slow down. You know, it may not be this may not be the right time for you to date. Um the three of pentacles, the tower here. The death card, somebody could be going through a divorce or a separation and somebody is saying, you know, you don't need to mix business with pleasure or you don't need to date somebody else until you finish this or, and it looks like somebody is choosing to be strategic in how they move in this new situation. But I feel that some people are trying to tell a person, hey, you should not pursue this person the new person, and that's not what's going to happen. Someone is still going to pursue somebody new. They're just going to be cautious in how they do it. And it's really just to protect the other person. This queen of wands is here with two masculines. There also could be a situation here too where two masculines could know each other and they are pursuing the same person or somebody is being pursued by a friend or mutual friend or lover or partner of somebody's ex or something like that. The high priestess and the ace of wands. Oh, and the sun. <laughs> Maybe somebody is somebody is about to be very, very happy with someone nine of wands and the ten of pentacles and somebody knows it they're like listen we're i'm getting this very serious intro where there's a mask and that's like well i know that other people may not agree with this but this is what we're doing <laughs> nine of wands ten of pentacles somebody's like we're staying in like we're about to be locked in and yeah it's like love wins Somebody already knows, friends, family, other people may have a problem with this, maybe because of when or where or why or how these two people met. Somebody, like I said, could for sure be going through like a breakup, a separation, a divorce. It's a lot of different things here, but somebody is still saying when the smoke clears, it's going to be us. And again, this could be too. Somebody is pursuing a person that's going like coming out of a relationship Whoever someone is about to go into a new relationship with may know their past person. There's some kind of connection here between these people. But somebody for sure has a very strong foundation. It looks like that they're leaving behind, but they're going to build another foundation elsewhere. Look at that, the freaking lovers. This bond here is completely just undeniable. It's unbreakable. Somebody is like, I'm holding on. Somebody here, they're not leaving. Until they have this legacy with somebody, they're not leaving. They're just not. They're waiting on it. They're like, no, that's mine. And you know, Knight of Cups. This person is like, this. that's my person. Will of Fortune, that's my person. That's, that's the life that we're creating. And this person is not moving. They're not shaking at all. 
the world. They're just somebody that's like you can you can beat them till they're black and blue. Like, I don't care. They're not leaving. They're not giving up on this connection. So it looks like something is at the worst. Ten of Swords, like the worst of the worst has happened. And this is being completely wiped, wiped away. Page of Cups, yep. Somebody is making an offer despite all of the conflict and the drama because they're still saying, they're still wanting to communicate, hey, we're moving on to peaceful, common waters despite everything that you see happening. It's like somebody's kind of just saying like, hey, you know, just don't worry about it. Like, let's just blow, let this blow over. You know what this is feeling like? Um, because we are, you know, approaching the holidays. Somebody could be introducing like a new partner or something during the holidays. And it, it seems almost like there's a discussion like, you know, maybe you shouldn't. Maybe you shouldn't, you know, invite that person around the family or something. Somebody's like, no. This person is, is is coming around the family. I'm not hiding anything because this is what it is. This is my new life. And this person is here. They're not going anywhere. I'm not lying about it. I'm not hiding it. And whoever doesn't like it, it doesn't matter. That's definitely the energy somebody is in. So, in other words, somebody, they're not willing to people please. Not when it comes to this new connection. They're like, no. I'm not I'm not hiding it. I'm not minimizing it. Whoever doesn't like it, it doesn't matter. And going back to this six to eighteen month timeline, somebody could have been seeing someone for the last six months or or something, but within six to eighteen months, somebody is possibly going to be marrying somebody else. And there is some kind of connection here. Somebody may say, you know, oh, she's dating a friend of the family or he, you know, he's dating somebody who he was friends with while he was married or whatever it is. And it's like, it doesn't matter because I, I'm getting this energy. Somebody's going to try to, I just heard skip trace. So, you know, like in skip tracing, like in, um, like skip tracing, you can go back and find a person's like previous address. Somebody's going to skip, going to be skip tracing back to try to figure out, you know, when did this happen? This could even be somebody is expecting. Somebody is going to be trying to figure, you know, was, were they still in a relationship when, when this person um, got pregnant or, you know, was this person still married when they got in a relationship? Somebody now is going to be trying to figure out the timeline of events of when something actually happened because there's definitely somebody going from one situation into another so somebody's like okay were you i'm i'm gonna be honest somebody's trying to figure were you cheating the whole time possibly but i really don't get that i feel like somebody just left the situation and they ran into somebody who they're equally yoked with but this protection here is somebody knows that most people are going to say that somebody here was in a third party. There was a mistress or there was lying and cheating. And somebody is like, no, it wasn't. I mean, somebody said, I know it's crazy. It's, it's like the movies because this that's what this feels like. <laughs> it was a very much just a faded meeting. And because it is so strong of a connection, a lot of people are sending negativity and hatred towards these people who are connecting. They're trying to find any reason to say that these two people should not be together or that this started in the wrong way. Like somebody, these are just people who are looking to sabotage somebody's life because somebody is choosing to stop people pleasing and go be with who they want to be with. So these people are just trying to create a bunch of doubt. For for two people who have already look at that twin flame. So somebody has met their twin flame. 
take out. I don't know if this is somebody you're reconnecting with or somebody new. Take it how it resonates, but. It's, it's a lot here about timing. People are, you know, when when did y'all start back hanging out? When did you come back together? Who reached out to who? Where did you meet? How, you know, is the divorce over? What about the kids? It's, it's somebody obviously is making a huge change in their life because they want to accommodate this new person that they want to build their life with. Find time to laugh, goof off, and enjoy each other. Chemistry. The attracts you feel is mutual. And I feel that this is what's about to happen too. It's two people who have like an undeniable chemistry. Other people are about to start noticing it. Somebody's going to notice how two people, how they laugh. They enjoy each other. They're always together. Because it feels like somebody could have been out here saying, that person, they're not your type or... You know, are you sure that's really what, what you want for yourself? Are you sure you want that type of person around your kids or whatever it is? And somebody is just like, this is new love in my life. I'm happy. And that's that. Friendship. So for some, this could be a friendship. Somebody here is starting out as friends. But their friendship is leading to more. You have apology and forgiveness that came out. Look at that fate. <laughs> it's a destined partnership here. You know what? This feels like too, like somebody could have a friend, a family member, or even like an ex-partner or lover who has um, been giving them a hard time. This person is soon going to realize that a person, a person is, is like genuinely truly happy and and i feel like this person is going to realize that they really need to let you go they really need to let you go and be happy it's something about the holidays like people are going to notice that you're really happy and whoever has been in the background like stirring a mess i feel like they're going to finally see that hey just stop this person is happy. They've moved on. Let it go. Wow. Yeah. Soulmate. You have somebody in your life that's very, very patient, very kind. Someone, their, their morals and values align with yours. And there could have been some kind of rejection that you experienced that made you very passionate about moving forward. Yeah, having this pain. Somebody is just, they're gonna have to finally accept and surrender because there is an undeniable, unbreakable bond or connection that's, that's here in your life or about to enter your life that the people who have been coming against you, they really better pray and ask for forgiveness for the things that they've done because this, for a lot of people, it's like a twin flame connection. And obviously, many people are, are doubting it and trying to delay it or break it up or whatever the case is wow marriage and look at this lifetime partner it's a confirmation here somebody has found their person <laughs> self-love an offer of loyalty and commitment blessings fertility pregnancy coming very soon and look somebody here is making plans
But you have a karmic partner here in the background. This person could have air in their chart. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. They don't have to. Somebody is about to see something from a new perspective and they're going to realize that they really do need to release the person because they, somebody here is refusing to let go. Somebody is just like, yo. And what this could be is like a, a, a proposal even. Like some kind of commitment. Somebody is about to find out very soon. Like somebody is in a serious commitment. So... If you thought this person was going to sneak around with you, cheat with you, come back to you, no. It feels, it feels like somebody's really about to get their feelings crushed. Because it feels like the kind of person who feels like, that person, they'll always come back to me. I'll always have that person in my back pocket. Like, no. Somebody literally is about to be wedding planning <laughs> very soon. Like planning for a wedding, moving in with somebody, traveling, having kids. I mean, all of that. So a de the decision has been made. It's a brand new beginning here. A fresh start. And somebody has really, really been thinking hard about this. And now they're choosing. They're putting up boundaries. Whoever this is, whether it's a friend, family member, or ex-lover, Whatever. Somebody is like, no. Within the next few months, I'm planning to be in a very serious committed relationship to change my life. If you are speaking ill against me or my person, you got to go. That's what this person is saying. So somebody is about to really start putting their foot down with people around them. This could for sure be somebody, somebody's... Um, that they're like a co-parenting situation or something. Somebody's like, no, you're not going to keep projecting this idea that I'm unhappy or I'm not fit to be in a new relationship or I need to stay here or this is blackmail energy, a lot of manipulation. Somebody's like, I don't care about anything that you're saying. I have chosen the person that I'm going to spend my life with or that I'm ready to be committed to. And you're not coming in the middle of this anymore. So somebody's putting their foot down for sure. With like a friend, a sibling, cousin, whoever. Sex doesn't matter. Age doesn't matter. Somebody's just like, no, I see what you've been doing. You, Somebody is, can see exactly who has been hindering them from having a happy, successful relationship with anybody. This person has in the back been around someone just giving them a bunch of false false information on purpose. Look at that. Very soon vacation and travel. So very soon you and someone could be traveling together. Making plans. Happily ever after, yin and yang. <laughs> wow. This is it. This is somebody's person is here. Yep, and they love you. It says, I love you. We're more than friends. So somebody could be telling the bros, bro, sis, sister, baby, brother, cousin, whomever, listen. Whoever this is, I love this person. And if you have a problem with them, you, you need to step. Because somebody is realizing that something here is more, it's more than a friendship, it's more. Somebody's like, that's my happily ever after. So somebody is could possibly, remember there's two masks here. Somebody could be telling their friend, I, I know how you feel about me being in relationships or whatever. I, res I respect you as, as my friend, my homie, but you speaking ill about my relationship, that's over. You need to stop. It's clear. 
this bros bros over hoes stuff is is no not that anybody is a hoe but you know <laughs> whatever this little bromance is mm -mm. somebody is growing up it just feels like somebody has someone around them that's not a good influence or somebody is tr is purposely trying to keep a person single like hey don't don't be committed don't be married somebody has this kind of person around them like purposely misguiding them you have your past life and self-love so there's two people who were together in a past life Getting to know each other and look at that. Watch out and divine union. There is a person here that's trying to stop two people from having deeper intimacy and going towards a divine union. It's just very, very clear. It's a warning message here to be careful because somebody is gossiping, they're jealous, they're envious, and they're trying very hard to stand in the way of two people coming together. And because of these two masculines here and this this Queen of Wands, this is somebody's like best friend. They could consider this person like a brother or whatever. This person is a hater. I know in the readings we usually pick up like the the better the bitter baby mama, the the feminine energies, but this feels like it could possibly be a man, actually. You know, maybe this person wants their friend to stay single because they're single or whatever. But it's like, no, this this person has to go on to their own soul mission. And it includes another person. But someone is telling this, this man, I feel, you don't need to get in a relationship. Don't do it. Don't do it. Like, why are you telling this person all this? But this masculine here, this masculine has been listening to it for a while. And now they're finally waking up, realizing, wow, I need to stop taking advice from this person because it's not helping me. This could even be a father figure, whoever it is. Somebody is not getting good advice. And this is this also could be sibling rivalry because somebody can see the type of life that a person is going to have with a particular feminine energy. So this guy, whoever it is, they're purposely trying to stop their friend from going into a serious relationship because they know their friend is no longer going to be available for them. Somebody, this is, I, I don't like this. It's like... Whoever this is, they really don't want this man to grow up. I'm hearing boys to man. Like, somebody does not want this boy to become a man. So they, they keep them stuck in this belief that they shouldn't... They shouldn't be trying to create their own legacy. 